Hello, Geminis. So the first message that I have out here is going to apply to just a few, but I feel like the energy is coming out quite strong, mainly because uh, it deals with a situation where you are trying to talk to somebody. You're trying to like hash things out with somebody. You're trying to get to the truth or get a conversation going with somebody. And I feel like the other person is either not listening or they are conflict avoidant and they're trying to dodge or to become evasive, okay? So I feel like for some of you, you might just be trying to engage with them in a conversation and they feel like, oh no, I feel like um, they, they, they sense that you have other motives, even though you might not. And so they're trying to just, you know, preliminarily just say that, oh, um, they're not available to talk. And so it's like playing phone tag with somebody, but it, it seems like they, they are strategic because they don't want to, re -eng uh, to engage in a conversation. So I feel that energy coming through and I feel like it's, um, it's upsetting some of you. Uh, my advice here is that the way that this person behaves is um, they're saying to, to pick your battles, okay? So they're, they're saying to pick your battles and they're, they're saying that um, this person as well, they don't like to dwell on the same things. Um, they, they, they like to just, you know, bring everything out in the open at one time. And then after, if, whether or not it's resolved, just quash it and just, you know, squat, squash it and just let it go. They don't want to like re-engage and talk about those same things over and over and over and over again. They don't want to dwell on things. So that's my advice for dealing with this person. I feel like I, I do see frustration coming through for many of you. And um, if you're dealing with this, if you're dealing with this person, um, and I feel like it's in a family capacity for many of you. And I feel like, you know, you want to talk things out. They feel like you're being confrontational and then they don't want to engage. And it's like you, you're just left wondering, I didn't do anything. What's going on? So I feel like, you know, take a, take a, a step away from it. Okay. Re-engage in a different time. Whenever they're ready, they're going to reach out and they're going to have that discussion with you. So I feel like there is going to be communication from them. But they want to be, they want it to happen on their own time when they're emotionally and mentally ready. So just uh, take a step away from this. Do not let let it eat you at you. Um, just you know, take a deep breath and step away. Okay, and just um, push it in the back of your mind so that you're not dwelling on it. I don't feel you're doing anything wrong, but you feel that you are, and you, and I feel like the fact that the other person doesn't want to open up that portal of communication it makes you feel almost as if i didn't do anything wrong why would they do that to me well they're dealing with their own stuff and you know it's really important for you to pick your battles okay so leave the, leave this alone re-engage when they're ready and things will be okay um the overwhelming message that i'm seeing here is you know um that whole concept about there are certain things that are outside of our control. And uh, if we keep picking at it, if we keep trying to fix it, it's not going to um, afford us the, the outcome that we want. So you want to be very mindful about where you are channeling your energy. Because there are, I see there are a lot of projects that needs to be done. There are a lot of things that you're looking at right now. And I feel for many of you, um, you know, clients that you want to take on, uh, you're you're doing a lot of assessment when it comes to people that you want to trust or to entrust responsibilities to so i feel an element of you in a position of power where you have you know the ability to delegate and so i feel that it's in your best interest right now to focus on practical responsibilities which is also something that i mentioned to aquarius so maybe it's an air sign thing so don't me don't get scattered don't get sucked into situations that you can't change, especially if it pertains to, you know, dealing and negotiations with other people or even just wanting to get a word in with another person. Just uh, be mindful about that. Um, what I'm also feeling is a um, harmony um, being restored in relationships, okay? And I feel it's greatly with family members and people that um, you consider family. So, um, old friends, acquaintances as well. I, I feel like they're coming through to, 
to either I, I'm seeing like they're saying congratulations so many of you might have had a recent promotion or you if you're waiting on a promotion I feel like something is coming through in the works for you it looks for very very promising so I do sense for many of you um, it's indicating that there will be contracts negotiations being finalized I do see trips being taken as well towards the end of this month and I do feel like um, they're saying a trip taken into a um, warmer climate where you are coming in uh, coming across like either a trip taking with like somebody that you really care about it could be family or it could be a loved one, but I see you and another person, and I see you meeting somebody that you haven't seen in a long time. So, a very, very good trip to rejuvenate the soul, okay? So, if there has been some frustrations, it's going to start to clear up. And so, take the time and devote your energy to things that you can change, okay? So, I do feel here a child, a fire sign child, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And um, I do feel almost as if it's it's almost like for some of you it they could be you know living with you and now they're ready so they're flying the nest you know they're leaving the nest and uh, they're venturing out into this new phase in their life and I feel like there's this bittersweet uh, kind of like a parting okay so a departure from your home or departure from your life so I, I feel like they're 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 spreading their wings and they're flying out and if you have had, you know, quarrels with them concerning independence, concerning not wanting them to leave, I feel like, you know, this is a, a, a good two weeks for you to uh, accept the fact that they are, you know, getting older and they need to live life on their own. So, you know, tr just try to release that relationship in a good way. Okay. So, uh, don't overpower just let them know that they ha they have a home to come to no matter what and so I feel like some some empty nesters are kind of like uh, dealing with that bittersweet separation um, what I'm also feeling as well is harmony like I said being restored in relationships and I feel like a lot of it has to do with you guys coming to terms with the fact that there are some things that you're not going to be able to change and there are some people who are very very fixed and stubborn in their ways and um, even if they're confronted with the facts they might not change their mind because they're so uh, deeply entrenched in their way of thinking in their logic and um, admitting that you're right might overturn everything that they're raised to believe in. And I feel like you're you're coming to terms with that and you're kind of like, you know, walking away from it with a smirk, knowing that, oh, that's just the way that they are. I can't fix them. But I feel like you're picking your battles. You're being more cautious about where you're giving your energy away, where you're devoting your energy, which is a really good thing that I like to see for you. You tend to be a little bit scattered, uh, Gemini's, but I feel like for the next two weeks, you are going to be a lot more deliberate and directed when it comes to, you know, where you're giving your time, where you're giving your power away and to withdraw and gain back your power. Okay. In work, I do see a lot of uh, people overseeing projects, delegating, figuring out, you know, tying up loose ends, figuring out where mistakes are so that you can fix it. So I, I do feel like a very good energy coming through uh, in support of uh, of work, of like uh, making compromises with other people, as well as they're saying like learning through trial and error, and also learning through collaborations and learning through other people. So very good energy for you guys. I do wish you the best. Take care of yourself and I'll be back for the April reading. Bye-bye.